Hey everyone, it is Kristen from 801. I've been gone for a long time, I'm sorry. You know, life and stuff like that gets in the way. But I wanted to film a changing of the, fur the purse video. Excuse me. Um, I'm filming on my phone, so if the quality isn't the best, I apologize. So, a little background. Um, I am planning to participate in NaNoWriMo in November, which starts tomorrow. Eee! So, um, I needed to have a bag that I could have a bunch of more stuff in. And I know that this pleated tote here is actually very big. And I get that. Um, you know, but sometimes you just need to change. So, I figured that um, unicorns are my jam. They're my favorite. And I wanted to feel all, I don't know, they make me feel empowered or something. I don't know. It made me feel good. So I decided I was gonna switch from my pleated tote to my unicorn tote. So originally I was carrying all of my, you know, like my necessities, my um, floss, my inhaler, my mirror, tweezers, wet wipes, band-aids, uh, nail clippers, things like that um, in there. And I'll show y'all how I have it set up. I already packed up um, what I'm using. And I will show y'all after I'm done explaining real quick. So I use this as my wallet. And it's the... I'm not sure what it's called, but it's Vera Bradley. And the color is boysenberry. This color, this is the small cosmetic from Vera Bradley. And the color is heather. This was what I used for my checkbook. The checkbook cover in boysenberry. This is a key fob from a tech case in, um, I believe it's Vava Bloom. Um, yeah. This is what I had my Kindle in, and it is the large cosmetic from the Cosmetic Trio, and the pattern is Flower Shower. I originally was going to try and put my Kindle in this, um, because, you know, hello amazing but it didn't it was really big the the pouch was really big and I'm not 100% sure what I will use this for at all um, maybe I will put um, a small knitting project in it to uh, work on when I, my mind needs a break I don't know I may or may not even put this in my bag I'm not sure so as I mentioned before I'm a big planner geek and I've got a couple planners with me now um, so I had, this was my pencil pouch, and these were all of the pens and things like that that I usually carry, and I'm trying to cut down. I mean, look at that, that's insane. So I, you know, did real talk with myself and thought, you know, what do I need with me when I'm out? So, um, I kept, I went through and I weeded out a lot that I don't need with me all the time. I might move these post-it notes over. We'll see. So anyway, and this is just my old phone case and I switched it um I guess I can't show y'all what I switched it to because it's on my phone and I'm filming with my phone but it's a really pretty um leaf pattern it's kind of it reminds me a little bit of fall but not really with the fall colors it's got I don't know pinks and yellows and kind of like a tealish blue and purple and stuff like that so anyway here is the my unicorn tote. I got this on my birthday back in March from Walmart and I got it for $10 and I about lost my mind over it. I love it. Um, I'm not, I'm kind of getting away from the color pink, but I had to get it and look at the detail on there. I love the mint green on the mane and the tail. So Anyway, without further ado, let's get into what I'm actually going to put in it so this video doesn't end up being super, super long. So I got this off of Amazon, and I'd seen a lot of um, reviews. Most of them were good. Only a couple maybe were bad. And I actually really like it. It's the largest um, organizer, and truthfully, I probably could go down a size. It is definitely big, and it obviously you can tell that it holds a lot. And it's got stuff on this side. And I still have 
empty pockets for things that I could, if I needed, to bring with me, um, maybe snacks or something like that. The only problem I had was that my zipper pull, they fray. But as you can see, all I did was I put a key ring on it, and I may find something cute to put on it later on. But necessity is the mother of invention, right? So, yeah. And you can snap it right here to make it smaller, but then it, it snaps it um, down really small, and then so it's it's awkward. It's like it's either too small for me or it's too big, and um, but I make I make it work. So what we have in here in this front pocket, I have my um, glue stick from the dollar store. I got a pack of eight for a dollar, and they're great glue sticks. I really like them. Scissors, um, an old pair from my son's uh, art kit from school a couple of years ago. And um, this is whiteout tape. It's from the dollar store as well. This pocket is where my phone goes. And in this pocket, I have my keys, which have not changed at all. And I have a Vera Bradley boysenberry um, wrist strap from another, from like a little phone carrier. And the reason I like it is because it's plastic. So I'm hoping that it won't get as dingy as quick as like the tech case key pops. Right here I have my earbuds and my husband. And I think that's all. Oh, and I have a hair clip. I guess I threw a hair clip in there. But yeah, just my earbuds in there from my iPod. In this main compartment I have my zebra liner, zebra midliners. And I know I said I was downsizing my pens to carry less. And let me explain. This baby right here is my novel bullet journal and I use a lot of colors and things like that to help keep me motivated um, into color code like parts of my story and things like that and um, to highlight and everything else and this is the big pack I found this at Target for $15.99 it was a new item and I about lost my mind I reorganized the colors to be the darker ones and then like the brighter ones this one right here is really, really bright. And my only complaint with these is that in this bullet journal right here, they bleed. Or shadow or whatever. So I'll I'll show you in a minute. So and then this, you can see $9.99. I got these from Hobby Lobby to practice brush lettering and I suck at it. But the reason I kept them is because they have the thin tip at the bottom and they don't bleed. I was writing with the black one yesterday and I was writing, pushing as hard as I normally do when I write and it did not bleed at all. So I really, really like those and I loved how I had all these different colors because that's what I'm, I'm always envious of the other bullet journalers because they have all the, the fine tips and the different colors and before I only had black. Anyway, this is my personal bullet journal. That is not from the mild, mild liners or my mid, mild liners, yes. Um, I don't know how that got wet, but let me see if I can find an example. Well, there, no, that's not, that's a, that's a flare. Okay, so here's my November personal calendar, and you can see that it's already bled through. That is something different, but see here, okay, it says November, and you flip through, and you see that's the gray. I covered it with washi tape, so, and then like this right here is green. I guess you can't see it on that one. That's good. Let's see if I can find another one. And you see right there. And then blog post right there. So, I mean, I will use them. Here I highlighted some things. And you can, it's not as bad. I, I guess I didn't push down as hard. But so anyway, I will have a full flip through of this. If there's not as much in there as like a normal 27, uh, 2018 bullet journal because... I jumped back and forth between notebooks a lot, but I really like this one for now. But come 2018, I'm going to get myself another one of these because these are amazing. And this is my bullet journal, my novel bullet journal. And I got a little sticky llama applique because it's super cute. And it's got, I think you can see that the, the little gold dots are reflective. And this has white paper in it, which I really, really like because that way you cannot see where when I white something out, it's harder to tell that I had to white something out. The paper in this is super thick. 
for an example, I was numbering my pages with a Sharpie, with a fine Sharpie, and you can't even see it. See? I guess you can kind of see it in that one. I might have pushed it a little too hard. But I mean, decent, isn't it? I think. Obviously, I'm not done setting up my bullet journal for my novel, but I've got all that good stuff in there. So I have this. And my last notebook in here is for writing. Um, I am weird and prefer to handwrite things. And so I got this from Walmart. I thought it was fun. It's all these different colors. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to fill up with my novel. So I went ahead and grabbed that to keep with me. I needed something a little bit smaller than a regular one subject notebook as well. In here is nothing but my Kindle. Because the one I've been watching, this is my first time doing NaNoWriMo, and I've been watching a lot of people's videos, and they say one of the best, best things is don't forget to read. So, got that. And I will, I have to film a TBR for my blog page, so I don't even know what I'm going to read this month. So this is my other pencil pouch. Well, I guess it's not a pouch. It's one of them plastic thingies, plastic cases. I got this from the dollar store. Unicorns, yay! And it's got just the pens I need this month. And I narrowed it down. There's my ruler, my eraser, which I got from the dollar store, and it's amazing. I got these markers also. These here, not that. That's a paper mate flare. But these right here, I got from the dollar store, and they're great. They don't bleed. And I got these because, um, or I have these with me because these greens and browns, along with um, uh, orange and yellow from these mild liners, are the colors from my mood tracker. And um, so I just kept those, and then I kept a couple of um, various thickness for tips for um, black pens and two pencils. So, and a, a white jelly roll pen, which I don't really use very much, but. So, that's what I have in that. Slide it back down in here. And this will get, it'll move around, jostle around a little bit, but I'm hoping it'll say okay. I put a a Vera Bradley purse bottom in it to help. It's not as the same width, but it's the perfect length, so good enough for me. My lotion, Italian pair from the dollar store. I'm almost out, but I have another one upstairs, so yay for that. So it's just change, but it's a lot of quarters and it's kind of heavy, so I didn't want to put it in my wallet. I got this wallet yesterday from Walmart. I love how sparkly it is. Um, it was 10 bucks. And I don't have anything in this pocket yet. In this back pocket, I'm going to put receipts to keep track of my expenses this month to make sure that I'm we're not going crazy because with the holidays coming up, we have to plan. And so inside here, I got my checkbook and then um, some, like I carry like stamps and um, my son's eyeglass prescription and things like that in my checkbook. I don't know why. I know it's weird, but I just do. So I always move them. And so they're in that pocket there. Obviously, that would be for change if I had less change, I guess. This is my son's school note because he's homesick. On this side, I have my driver's license, my carry permit, my debit card, my credit card, my Target card, and our insurance cards. And then back here, I just have a check I need to get cashed. So, there's that. This guy here is just all of that random stuff I told you about. The um, floss inhaler, band-aids, tweezers, um, nail clippers, yada, yada, yada. So, and the last thing are these little zippers. And I don't have much in them. I have a pad because, you know, hooray for a girl. Being a girl for me or my daughter. I have a Miralax for when our stomachs are upset. A hair tie. And I know there's two bobby pins down in here, too. Ugh, an airhead. My EpiPen. And this is... Um, oh, no, this is my son's excuse note. I guess that other paper was actually a medical receipt for taking him to the doctor. Um, so there, that's what's in there. And I don't think I even have anything in this one. Let's see real quick. Oh, I know. I, have some, I do have something in this. I'll show you real quick. I have my little Jon Snow wristlet because what I've learned is that my cell phone and my debit card are perfect to fit in here and then I can clip my keys on it and just take that in with me if I need to go into the store real quick. 
and don't want to carry my whole purse. So I'm going to pause for a second to zip this up and I'm going to put it in my purse so y'all can see how it looks inside and there's still a ton of room. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So here it is in my purse. I will tell you the hardest part besides figuring out where you want to put stuff in this little um, organizer is actually getting it in my purse. Um, the last time I used it, I put it in my purse first and then filled it and I realized that I didn't like that. So I know it's a little difficult to see and I apologize. Um, but here it is inside my purse and believe it or not, I have, I can fit a water bottle over here if I want. The same with on this, well maybe not on this side, normally I can, maybe if I were to move this and put it like this way, I could. But I can fit a water bottle on this side because my little bag stuff caves in. I actually can fit stuff along the sides here and along the sides here. Like I can get my hand all the way down to the bottom of the purse. So I could even put like a folder if I needed to do something like that. Like I have to go um, to the doctor this week to uh, get my new round of allergy shots. I have to bring my folder. So my folder will slide in right there. And um, yeah, and then there's a little zipper. And what I might end up doing is putting my keys in there. Maybe, I don't know if I keep... I remember, if I remember correctly, using this last time, I used to misplace my keys a lot. So anyway, this is Kristen from 801, and I thank you very much for watching. And um, if you have any requests for videos, um, I'm, I am going to do a bullet journal flip through for my Dece December, not December, oh my goodness, my November layout. So stay tuned for that in the next day or two. Heck, I might even do it today. I don't know. But anyway, if you have any requests, let me know. And if you like what you see, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I would love to have more subscribers. I am going to try and post on a more regular schedule. I've already been brainstorming different um, video ide ideas. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.